Hi, and Sneaky Linux back. And tonight we're going to look at what OS. Now, supposedly being a green, environmentally friendly operating system. And I see on DistroWatch the other night, and I thought, I'll have a little look at that. So I downloaded it, installed it, and we're just going to have a little look. Now, for the music player, we have Exhale. When it does come up, it's very much like some of the other stuff we find on Ubuntu, but it does the business. It plays CDs, I've tested that, etc. etc. Nothing new, but hey, it's different, isn't it? But what I did, I clicked on the radio, save station podcast, and I thought, oh, I'll try a stream. Didn't want to stream to me, so that wasn't very good to start with. Bearing in mind this is just a beta still, it is not the release. So it's beta, that's a work in progress. Anyway, we go to change icons. Nice little effect. You can put new icons, delete icons, but you can do that in Ubuntu anyway. So, you know, I'm looking for a bit more really from a, a green machine as they say. And I'm not finding it just yet. So we'll go over to files. Nothing new again. CVDD ROM and me little 8 gig hard drive. All the stuff's on there. There's nothing I don't already know really. Right, web browser. What we got as a web browser on here? This would be quite interesting, don't you think? So we wait for him to boot up. Oh, what we do to do? It's Firefox free, so that's one good thing. And it takes you straight to the what page. Now it's based on open box, so that's nice and quick anyway. But apart from that, it's not doing too much for me at the moment. But as I said before, it is in beta. So hopefully when they do release it, it will come as something a bit better. For email, they're using Claws. A good choice. No downer there. But what I'm finding, even though the system's not too old, it's a little bit slower than I was expecting. Because it's a stripped back download. It's not a full CD download. But I wasn't getting it. Anyway, Pigeon. It's all there. We're going to turn them off. And it all works great. No problemo. We can enter the menu. And as soon as I do this, you can see it is quite stripped back. Procero, Excel, Sam Recorder, VLC, I put on myself. That was a whopping download, I can tell you that, because it is a stripped down version. You can change all your appearances here. There's plenty of tools here, as you would find in Ubuntu, Zubuntu, or Kubuntu system. So we'll go to add and remove and see if there's anything different there. Right, it takes a little while. Not too little though, so don't worry. So at this time I'm going to have a sip of beer while it's deciding to do what it wants to do. Now I'm using 384 mega RAM on here to give it you know a little bit of leeway. So it's not a base system. I'm using the MVBox, so that means my processor is working at about a 1.5 meg. Or gigs, shall I say. <coughs> so, there we go. Add and remove. There's plenty there. All the stuff you would usually expect to be there. And a few extras. I'm just scrolling down just to give you an idea what it's like. You have compiers. But as I said before, because it's so stripped down, you have to have everything on yourself. There's no whoopity doos in that respect. And that's where uh, I think it may fall down with some core apps that it really does need. So we go to network, Claude now we've seen, FileZilla, Net Browser, Pigeon we've seen, and a wicked network manager. Abbey Word, good choice, and Genomeric, good choice. They didn't give you open office, which have bloated it right out of proportion. Under accessories as the usual. So that's Hunky Dory. We'll open Abbey Word up. That's pretty quick. Um, we're going to close him down again. So it's just um, just saying like right in the speed thing here. I don't know what it is. But maybe it'll be corrected when I do the proper release version. Hopefully, shall we say. Right. Here's my VLC app. He wants to know if I want to download covers and stuff. And what I'm going to say is yes. By the way, it did pick up all my uh, network and that OK, no problem. So that's one added bonus, even if you use a live CD, it will work. 
there's VLC. If you've used VLC before, you'll recognise it all. I've tested it. Yes, it does work. I've not tested it with DVD, though, so, because I've actually not downloaded all the codecs yet. So we're we'll clicking off. Now, there you go, back over there. I'm going to the same place here, but there is so little on here, so it is really, really small. And you're going to have to spend a good few hours downloading some stuff. Now, GIMP's on here, and I thought, how quick does GIMP load? That's always a good idea of how fast the system is. Well, hmm. It wasn't too slow, but it wasn't super fast. I was expecting it to be a bit faster. But on the other hand, if you're going to install it on a, say, a Pentium 3, 450-500, you ain't going to be really worried about that, are you? Because you're going to still be able to do stuff. It will just take you longer. But on the other hand, you could have a smaller distro to do that. So yeah, comes Gimp. It's not too slow, not too fast. So keep working on it. Chaps and gals. We're closing him down. What else can we have a look at here? Just before we finish. We've done all that before, so we don't need to do that again, do we, really? Appearance? Should we change it? No, I'm probably doing that. Oh, I don't know. There's so little to show you, really. I mean, I might as well finish now. But I won't. If you right-click on the on the page, you can get these options. So we're going to change wallpaper. That was quite quick. So the core is obviously working quick, it's just something not working in between. So I apply to change it nice and quick, immediately. Download it, give it a go, and tell me what you think. I mean, if it, they can get it to work right, that'd be great. Sneak Linux out. I'll see you very soon.